Good morning from Disney Springs. A very windy day. It's Wednesday. Plus, it's Wednesday. It's, it's actually Thursday. We're here because it's Disney Springs. We like coming to Disney Springs. Well, we're, we're here because... We're two parents out on the town. <laughs> we're here because we need to go to Corksicle. There's some new stuff going on at Corksicle. And uh, Vera Bradley invited us out to check out some new stuff. I had to move to a different location because of the wind. Because it's, it's Wednesday. But well, look at this. You can hear the golf carts going by. Oh, no. We're on fire with the audio content today. So let's head into Disney Springs. Let's do it. It's Christmas here now because. Oh yeah. Christmas it's is starting now. now. Oh yeah. You know what? Sometimes you feel like a big snowman that's Fallen fallen under, under the plow. I, that is what I feel like currently. Tonight, <laughs> I'm on top of the world. We gotta bring it around somehow. Because Christmas is starting now. <laughs> Shout out to the big bad voodoo daddies. Yeah. Everybody loves some garland around a light post. <laughs> Everybody loves pondering the orbs over here in the Christmas shapes. <laughs> hey Jen. Hey. Name this tune. Do 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 Disney Springs loop. Yeah. <laughs> I was jamming out to it in the bathroom. <laughs> look at this. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go. So I need to get some shoes for my trip that's coming up and I want to oh, check out this Rothy's. Rothy's? I don't really know much about them. Okay. Oh, I love... Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. A Christmas in a can. Oh yeah, Christmas in a can. <laughs> what do you think that is? I don't know. What is it? Is it like... Is it just a whole tree pops up? Mini Christmas tree, decorating lights, banner, tinsel. Oh, it's like a little tiny Christmas tree in a can. Yeah, it's a Christmas in a can. Oh, cute. I love sugar booze. They yeah. have like the most fun stuff. They really do. All right, first stop, Vera Bradley. We know somebody named Vera. Oh, we do. Yeah, they just came out with the Tiana and Rapunzel line here. Look at this. I do like the, the, the Tiana one. I like the colors of it. It's cool. Oh, this is so fun. I like that. Oh, I like that they're focusing on the dream part of it because they both had dreams. Look at these quilted bags. These like Mickey quilted bags. Yeah. And they said that these are water resistant for the park. This is like, that's been so fun. This is yeah. Really cute. Yeah. I also like this. Yeah, that's really fun. And they have like full out luggage too. Look at this. Oh, Christmas stuff too. You know, we love to see Christmas stuff. Oh yeah, that's so cute. Look at that. This is so much. Oh, and they also have ears too. They also have pajama sets and slippers. I like that they're like the two different colors. It's almost like a almost like a mix and match. That is awesome. I want this. I would wear this. Not only do they have like Disney stuff, but they also have travel stuff. This is cool because it's, I like they have this rolling duffel. They've got like a little tiny carry-on. Look at the size of this backpack too. There's a lot of versatility here. I just, I don't know. I feel like I never really came in here and it's surprising how many different styles and different types of things that you can get from Vera Bradley. They even have air tag holders, like a bag charm with an air tag, spot for an air tag. <laughs> I love these. I love this whole print. This just reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. Something else we needed for this trip to New York is shoes. And there's a shoe store here called Rothy's. Do you need some Mary Janes? They're recycled. I, I really do like these because I need them for my, my I had bought some like long, track, like wide leg trousers for New York. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize the prices in here. <laughs> what is it, 150? These are $165. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That's shoes for you, baby. Somebody's getting some loafers. <laughs> yeah. They're actually very nice. Yeah, that's they what feel, I was... I haven't stood up yet, but they feel very nice. I love me a loafer. They're, uh, and she said you can throw them in the washing machine. Yeah. They kind of explained to us that this is the plastic bottles that they take to recycling, and they turn them into these pellets, and then these pellets are forced into an extruder to create this fabric, this thread, which is very soft. And that's what they make all of their shoes out of. So that's what makes it machine washable too, is that they're made out of plastic. Recycled stuff. They take old bottles and stuff from the ocean to make their shoes. We're making our way down to Corksicle now, but I wonder when they're going to put up the tree. You can see this little like manhole cover right here. This is where the tree goes 
and it's a massive tree. They have put up all the other decorations, like the lights and the garland and stuff, but when are they gonna put up the tree? When's the tree go up, Disney Springs? You can see all the different, like, electric connections that they have to use f to light up this big tree. No, I kinda wanna get some outdoor chandeliers, right? These look nice. If you're so dry, then explain this. Passing by Uniqlo, they have some fun shirts right now. This is like from the Design Your Own Tea collection. You remember we've done these before. It's like a, a breakfast sandwich and coffee. Is this New York right here? Like should Jen get this shirt to wear to New York? It's like a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich with like a cup of coffee. We did it everybody. The peanut reindeer have made a return to Disney Springs. I never understood this, but they're back. Also, we're stopping by Corksicle now. Oh. So they just got these from Pixar. This is a cold cup. Nemo. We got Dory. Those are so cute. This is oh, Sully. It looks so real. It does look real. It looks like it's going to be fuzzy. And then Mike. Mike Wazowski. I like the color of the top, too. I do, too. That's awesome. This has a good feel to it. I had no idea we had our own pickleball team here in Orlando called the Orlando Squeeze. But we do. How, how do I see these guys? Can I go to a... Orlando squeeze the match. Nut reindeer superiority. I'm gonna just, I'm, I feel like nut reindeer sounds bad. I'm gonna call them peanut reindeers. Even though there are like walnuts and stuff and almonds on the bottom, but like, yeah, nut reindeers. You think there was a bid to have the pasta ones outside of Terralina? I think Terralina's like, we need the bow tie pasta reindeer out front. I didn't even think about that. Don't give me the ones with paper clip ears. <laughs> Bow tie pasta. I like how I think their eyes are Cheerios. Oh. Okay. Right? Well, what's they? their nose? Um a real nose. It's an, an actual, actual nose. <laughs> it's an actual human nose. Take a hint, super dry. There's no water near everything but water. Something new. This used to be the Melissa shoe store. Now it's Pura Vida. And they sell alphabet bracelets. And more than just alphabet bracelets, they sell like bracelets. Oh, they sell advent calendar boxes. Oh, advent boxes. That's with fun. what? With bracelets in them? Yeah. Oh, I like the backpacks in here. They're fun. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's that's what it was. I remembered all the wave stuff. It's all like waves. Yeah, it's cool looking. Some like fun jewelry. This is the one that I like actively remember. It was the wave ring. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, they sell shirts too. I do like these shirts. These are fun shirts. Good morning and happy Sunday. Good morning. <laughs> so I am leaving for my trip tomorrow to go to New York for my birthday trip to go see Wicked. But today is just going to be a chaotic home vlog. We have a lot to do. I have a lot to edit. I have to get ready for the trip. And uh, we're just going to be at home hanging out. Causing chaos. So let's start the day with a little coffee. We're gonna go on a little coffee run and then we'll be right back. What? What are you doing, buddy? What is that? What is it? Can I see? Oh, Princess Peach? Are you drooling? Oh, Buddy, you must be very excited. He only really drools like that when he's like so excited. So you got a new car this morning. What is it? Whoa, it doesn't, ha doesn't have any wheels. It has a keychain. So it's not a real car? It doesn't really drive? There's no wheels? It's a keychain. Let me see. Ooh, it feels neat. Yeah, cool. What's the name of it? Porsche. Oh, it's a Porsche. Wow. What kind of Porsche? Sarrera. Oh, pretty close. Nice. 911 Carrera. Whoa. He's learning all about cars. I love these things. <laughs> like, oh, these? Yeah. So like, I just come over here and, like, flop on them every once in a while. I need to flop. I need to flop. <laughs> this is But if I were sitting like this. Mm -hmm. oh, really? Oh, yeah. Just imagine when we get our actual, like, chair stands. What do you see, buddy? Do you have on your, your Christmas pajamas? You do? Who's on them? A reindeer. He said Luigi. No, he said reindeer. Really? Yeah. Yoshi. Let me see Yoshi. Let me see. Oh! Is that Yoshi? Oh, it's a red Yoshi. 
Wow. All right, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. I am not ready. Oh. Okay, we went and grabbed some coffee. We're back. Food eat it. You what? Food eat it. Food eat it? Yeah. Oh, what do you want? I know. You had your breakfast. You're still hungry? I know. You don't know? Go, go, get it, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that cute baby? That's not, I don't know why you think that's how you take a picture. <laughs> he thinks that this is how you take a picture. Like you put it up to your eyeball. Okay, so it's a little bit later on. We um, are actually gonna head over to the, I think it's called One Heart, One Family. I'll link it down below, but it's, it's a domestic violence shelter that they, you can bring donations, you can bring food, clothes, you can make monetary donations, but it's in downtown Orlando and we've been donating to them, but because it's so close to the holiday season, we wanted to make sure that we brought some clothes, toys for the kids, we have so many toys. Um, they do accept like lightly worn and lightly used things and we have a lot of that. So we're gonna donate that now. And yeah, so we're headed over there real quick. Let's get in the car. All right, yeah, so we just have a full trunk full of things. Uh, lots of like breastfeeding stuff, which I hope they'll take. I'm not sure, but we're gonna ask Hot Wheel tracks that we're not playing with anymore. So much stuff, baby clothes, yeah, lots toys, of baby clothes, lots, lots of, toys. of toys. So yeah, we're gonna head there now. I thought this was kind of neat. Is this train like just stuck here? No, it's stopped. Oh. So we're sort of near an industrial area. Mm. So they're probably unloading one of the train cars. Oh. At something. Gotcha. But it's funny because they have to break it up across um, roads here, so you'll see a break at this light in the train cars. Oh yeah, and then they have to like put it back together? How do they yeah. drive it forward? Oh, they pull the, the engine back Oh. and rebuckle it. Interesting. Yeah, and then they, they leave the street empty. So the place that we're going to is like downtown in a, like an, an industrial park basically. It's in like a warehouse. Yeah, just the, outside of College Park. Yeah, outside of College Park. That's where you take the donations, but I don't know where the actual shelter is and that's something that they keep private for like safety reasons. But the place that we're going to is just the donation spot, so. Um, See, it's a good thing the train's not here. Oh, crossing I know. the train we, can, we wouldn't be able to cross if the train was here. So we're gonna go drop this stuff off. And uh, I highly recommend if you, uh, you know, are looking to donate items from your house, like lightly worn, lightly used things, and you have a domestic violence shelter or any like family shelter near you, like a women and children's shelter, I would like seek it out and see if you can donate your items there because it really does go to people who need the items. And especially with the holidays coming up, there are lots of kids who, you know, would benefit. Here it is, just so you guys have the information if you're local and you wanna come and donate yourself. Here is more information. So while we're downtown, we needed to get some grocery shopping done and we came to the Retro Publix. I think, is this the Publix where everything is very tall and skinny? Yeah, because it's uh, an old such building. A, yeah, it's an old building, so yeah. the shelves are real high and... The aisles are very skinny and the shopping carts are skinnier. I think so, yeah. Because I, I don't see one out here. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, they might be normal size shopping carts, but oh. there are other Publixes where the shopping carts are skinny like mm. this. That one I think might be downtown Maitland. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So we're There's gonna have another in. tall Publix. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna, a lot of the buildings are like old, old, but not like if you're from Europe, they're not like as old as you guys have old buildings, but they're old for us, you know? Yeah, this one was built in like the 20s. Really. Oh. So let's go in and do some shopping. <laughs> I feel like, you know, we don't watch commercials anymore, but this used to be a thing. It's like Publix where shopping is a pleasure. Yeah. We'd hear that all the time. It is. It's still a pleasure. Yeah, it's well, lovely. Oh, no, this it's guy. Good. What happened to your head? They, just, they needed to separate it. Oh, no. This is what happens when you don't have a lot of room. Oh. Okay, so we're in the Publix and I wanted to show you this. It was opened up to the perfect page. It's a Cars cake, but it's one of those celebration cakes where like it has the sprinkles in the middle. So because Jackson's birthday is coming up, I don't know. This is a, a, a stressful thing for us. I'll tell you more about it in the car, but. Cakes? Well, just the whole birthday oh, thing. Oh, birthday. Yeah. yeah. Remember? remember. <laughs> and we're getting this for one of our friends. It's a, a wine advent calendar. They're gonna love it. All right, we were the talk of the town with this wine advent calendar. Everybody wanted to know. They said, oh, where'd you get that? What's in it? How much was it? We bought it in your store. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope our friends like it. I think they're gonna like it. If they like it as much as the Publix people liked it, I'll be happy. All right, we got a little car lunch while we were inside the stores. All right, so I got a buffalo chicken wrap. 
Looks pretty delicious. What'd oh, you get? You know what's funny is I thought it was going to be chicken tenders. Oh, yeah. No, it was sliced chicken. Huh. Yeah. What'd you get? Italian. An Italian wrap. We're back, baby. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I've been wearing my Hey Dudes mm -hmm. recently, and I think my feetsies are stinksies. Oh, they're like slip-on, not like loafers, but kind of like loafers, but like more athletic. Everybody knows what Hey Dudes are, right? I don't think some people know. Oh. Are they big in like Europe? I don't know. Probably, they seem like American shoes. Do you guys know what a hey dude is? <laughs> so we're back from the store and uh, we, you know, looked around Publix for a little bit. So the thing that I was going to tell you though about the stressful stuff going on with Jackson's birthday is that originally for his birthday we asked him, and it's funny, kids always change their mind, right? So I asked him like over and over and over, what do you want to do for your birthday? What do you want to do for your birthday? He wanted to go to Nintendo Land. Yeah. So Super Nintendo World in Hollywood, California, or Hollywood, right? Yeah. Universal Hollywood. It's the only one that's like open and complete. So we said, In the yeah. United States. Yeah, in the United States, right, yeah. So I was like, we'll totally go on this trip and we can do like a, you know, like a long weekend. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go to Nintendo Land. It'll be so fun. And then <laughs> when I asked him later, I said, um, okay, so your birthday's coming up and we're going to plan this trip. And what do you want to do for your birthday? I want a birthday party in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he said, I want a party like Oliver's party. So Oliver's first birthday, I'll link that video down below, but we like hired a party planner and they, you know, did this whole like circus theme party in the backyard and we had a petting zoo and we had, you know, like a slide with a ball pit and a bounce house and all, two bounce houses. Yeah. And it was just a really beautiful party. And so he wanted that, but that took months to plan. Right. So... I'm like, I don't think I can give you that party in like two weeks. Right. I don't think that's a thing that I can do. So I don't know what to do now. I think we're fine if we just take him to California. I know, but I still want to give him the thing that he wants. He wants that too. <laughs> he wants the kid, listen. So that's what I said. I told him, I said, you got to pick one. Which one do you want? He And he said he wanted the party. No, he said he wants both still. Oh no. <laughs> so I think we make the decision for him. I think we can still have like a small party in the backyard with a bounce house. It just won't be like, I think he wants what Oliver had. The only thing he, he wanted was a wall full of snacks. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so that's all we need to give him is just give him a wall full of snacks and a plane flight to California. The, the party planners did a, a really amazing job of, um, like the theming. So we did have a, a, a wall of popcorn and a wall of, um, carnival snacks, like on little, you know, clips and, um, yeah. So. Yeah, that's stressful because we're trying to figure out exactly what to do now that he's changed his mind. So we got to do that. But then also something that was a little stressful about my trip. And this happened about a week ago and I didn't, um, we didn't do a home vlog. So I haven't told you yet, but I was supposed to go on this trip with my best friend. You surprised me with this trip to New York for my birthday. We put that whole video up. Hopefully you saw that where I, where I talked about it. But I was so excited to be able to go on this trip. We couldn't go together because we... We, I wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do everything. You and me wouldn't go together. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, it, there's a lot of nighttime stuff. And so with the kids, it just wasn't something that could really happen. So he planned it with my best friend and was, you know, we were going to go together. Well, she ended up having to cancel on me sort of like a little bit last minute. And I was having to decide if I was going to cancel my trip or if I was going to try to find somebody else to go, but I had to transfer everything into this other person's name. So I ended up finding another friend who thankfully could go last minute, which was hard because I don't know a lot of people that can just last minute take a trip in the middle of the week to New York. Right. So <laughs> thankfully, um, the first person we thought of is we have this friend who loves Wicked and unfortunately he wasn't able to go because again, his schedule was He's not working. It didn't, didn't pan out that way, but his partner, um, said he would go. So I was like, okay, great. And the thing that worked out is that, um, these are friends of ours for like years and years and years, but he works in New York sometimes. So he's like, knows where to go, which is great. Like knows how to get around the city. So that was very helpful. But also um, he was able to get some reservations to places that we weren't able to get when I was planning it with my, my other friend. So I am very excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, it is kind of a bummer that my friend canceled, but I understand why it's like nothing. It was something out of her control. So right. it was unfortunate, but, and hopefully we can do a trip in the future, but, uh, yeah, so I am very excited, but I will say it was stressful having to find 
somebody last minute who could go because right. I really thought I was going to have to cancel this trip. Yeah. And I or was, the entire family was going to have to go. Which was going to be hard. Because <laughs> yeah. like what, um, you know. Jackson on the loose in New York City. Well, we had already booked two separate rooms. So when I was planning it with my other friend, we had booked two separate rooms that were connecting. So we would have had two rooms. We would have had enough space for the kids, which would have been nice because the hotel rooms in New York are not like large as something that I found when researching the hotels. But mm -hmm. I would I would have mm -hmm. to go to the show by myself. Yeah. Because you couldn't come. Right. Like, anyway, it all worked out. Um, but that was very stressful, just having to do those last minute changes because you can't transfer a plane ticket to a person. You have to cancel the ticket and you kind of like lose that money sort of. Yeah. We got an e-ticket, thankfully. But not that doesn't happen for everybody. It depends on your like class of ticket. So thankfully I was able to get an e-credit, but I had to then rebuy the ticket for the flight. Which seems like it should be illegal, right? Well, yeah, because the... the That's just them taking your money. It's my own fault. Yeah, like, but it doesn't matter. It, they just took your money. I think there's a lot of things that aren't fair in the world, <laughs> and that's one of those things. But the flight ended up being double in price. Yeah. So that was kind of a bummer. Um... But you know, you just chalk it up to like, this is just sort of what happens. So long story short, I didn't have to cancel my trip. I am still going and I am very excited and I can't wait. Yeah. So there you go. And Jackson's birthday is, we're gonna do something. Something will happen. We've I just, got an e-credit now. So. I, I really hope that he's okay with this trip to Super Nintendo Land. I think that once he gets there, he's gonna be really happy that that's what we did he has told me so many times in this last week that he's like i just want to ride on a plane yeah so when he found out that i was going on a plane he's like i want to go and i was like i you know what you might be coming <laughs> <laughs> so um i think that he'll have a lot of fun yeah yeah okay cool so that's everything that's happening um i think we're going to end it here because i have to go get ready so yeah. uh in the morning going on my trip so stay tuned. Yeah. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll, we'll see, see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. And, and now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.